evening. You know, you can punch TTYL before you get on the road because pretty soon all 10 of those texting fingers must be on the steering wheel. I'd get a text while I was driving and I would start texting and look up and be like, oh, that car stopped. Eric Johnson says he's getting better at texting and driving with time. Now I'm pretty good at it where I look up and look back down and look up and look back down as I'm texting. It takes a lot longer. But I get the text out. So you've kind of finessed it as opposed to stopped it. Absolutely. The new state law that bans texting while driving takes effect July 1st. And police departments like Farmington Hills are getting prepared. We're well prepared. We put out a training bulletin, the information of the new law to all the officers. And uh, we're ready for it and we'll be watching for it. What will they be looking for? They're going to be looking for people that are maybe preoccupied with their heads down. Their driving is becoming impaired. Sergeant Patterson says the goal is not a bunch of citations, but to get motorists focused. Anything that we can do to get the uh, public's attention back on the road and driving, as opposed to away from their telephone, is going to be very positive. What do you think of the new texting ban law? I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's needed. Catherine Wrench came to that conclusion after a close call of her own. I had more than a close call. I, I had an accident once when I was um, getting driving directions. There's nothing more important than safety. You just never know. I was fortunate, but other people sometimes are not. And it'll be $100 for the first offense, $200 for any additional offenses. The law is specific, so if you'd like more information, we have it for you on our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Farmington Hills, I'm Glenda Lewis, Channel 7 Action News. Back